Robo las miradas siempre al pasar Quemando llantitas por el bulevar Recuerdo el nogal es lo que nos pasó What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel um, As you guys can probably tell by the title of the video We did pick up some new wheels a couple weeks ago And I wasn't planning on showing you guys the wheels just yet Because I was planning to do some work on them And uh, show you guys afterwards But uh, if you guys follow me on TikTok uh, for those of you that do, you guys probably already know. Uh, a couple of you guys were asking me questions, you know, what kind of paint was I using? What sandpaper was I using? So uh, I figured, you know, why not make a short video of uh, how I'm going to do it? I've been using this way for years, and it hasn't let me down yet. So, you know, if, you guys, if, I, if it works out for me, it, it could work out for you guys. So uh, this is just some of the things, uh, or most of the things you're going to be using. Uh, first off, we got our paint. Uh, it's high performance enamel. I went with the color silver, gray. Don't know what they don't say, but it's kind of like silver. It's like the OEM look for wheels. And then uh, we got a 2K clear. You don't have to use this clear. Um, I decided to go with this one just because it gives you better results, you know, but you can go with any clear. This one's more expensive too. So um, like I said, it's worth it though, but you guys can use whatever you guys want. And then we got our uh, wax and grease remover. Picked this up at O'Reilly's for like seven bucks. So, other than that, we got our scrubbing pads here. This one's kind of wet, but I just wanted to show you guys what I, what I was using. You got the green one, which is finer thread, and uh, you got this maroon one, which is a little bit more rough. I like to use both of them depending on the area I'm working on. And then, uh, obviously, you got your rags, microfiber rags. And uh, that's pretty much all you're going to be using for this project. So, um, paint, I got, it, I got it at Home Depot. It's like 7 bucks a can, which is not too bad. And then her clear was like uh, 20 bucks a can, but you can only buy it online. So, if you guys are planning to paint your wheels and you want to use this clear, you probably got to order ahead of time. And uh, for this, like I said, already, scrubbing pads, Home Depot, microfiber towels. Picked them up at Dollar Store, I believe. So, um... Uh, let me show you guys. All right, so here we got one of the wheels that um, I haven't sent it down yet. You can see it's like bright, glossy black. Um, this is how it is originally, right? So once you start scrubbing down, uh, you could, like I said, you can use whichever one you want, maroon or green pad. Uh, you're just gonna send them down enough to where the clear kind of fades away or the gloss goes away. You don't want to scrub them down all the way down to the primer or the bare metal. Pretty much all you're doing is just getting rid of the clear. And once you're done with that, um, you'll notice this one over here. This one's already sanded down. And uh, you can see it's not as bright as the other one. It's more of a flat black. That's kind of what you're looking for. And like I said, you don't want to go down all the way down to the metal or to the primer. Because then you're going to have to use primer. This way, uh, you're reusing that stock paint that's on there already as a primer, I guess. And um, I guess if you do wear it down to the primer... Or to the bare metal you will have to use a primer so uh, this I supposed to look and this one over here like as you guys can tell it's more of a bright black so just want to show you guys the difference as you guys can probably see I already got started on two of the wheels and uh, this is how it turned out it's kind of like a OEM finish I would say and the reason I'm changing the colors is because I don't feel black matches my truck that well. As you guys know, my truck's white, and I have the red bed liner. So black wheels wouldn't, have, I guess, match that well. So I, just got, I decided to switch up the color. And, uh, yeah, that's how they turned out. So I still got to do two wheels, so I'm going to be showing you the process of those two. But, like I said, I wasn't recording any of this because I wasn't planning to do a video on this. But I was getting a lot of questions, so I uh, might as well just do it. So... Let's move on to the other wheels now. Alright, so when you guys get done sanding down your wheel, you want to get a microfiber towel, pour a little bit of this wax and grease remover, and just kind of just go over the wheel. That way, uh, your wheel will be pretty clean and it'll be ready for paint. 
otherwise, if you have any grease or any wax on there, anything pretty much, your paint ain't gonna stick on there. And when you go to spray it, it ain't gonna stick. So, uh, take your time, clean it up pretty good. And uh, once you're done cleaning it up, just let it dry. And uh, it should be ready for paint. All right, one thing I forgot to mention is you will need some, uh, these are like index cards, um, note cards, whatever you want to call them. I picked these up at the dollar store, so you're probably wondering what they're good for. So we're going to be using them on the wheel, like that, just to cover up the tire. You won't get any overspray on it. And don't be scared to overlap them because, you know, once you get paint on that tire, it's not that easy to come off. But if you do happen to get some other spray, you can always take it off with some rubbing alcohol or uh, anything like that, milk, polish remover. So, like I said, you can pick up a pack of these for like six, a uh, pack of 60 for like a dollar. All right, so once you guys got your tires all covered up, I know this kind of looks kind of ghetto, but trust me, it's the best way to do it. Uh, you might get a little bit of overspray on the tires, like I said, but if you happen to do so, uh, rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover, anything like that, it should come off. And uh, the first coat, you want to do a light coat. You don't want to go so heavy on the first one. Uh, so, let's see. After you spray your first coat, um, you can wait for the second coat anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 minutes. You do want to wear a breathing mask, anything like that. I don't have anything like that right now, so I'm kind of just, you know, doing it as is. But if you guys happen to have a breathing mask, I do recommend it. This stuff ain't no joke. Pretty strong. So, um, yeah, after you spray your first coat, um, you can wait anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes for your second coat and then the second coat you can apply it a little bit heavier if you wanted to For the first layer, it's the same as the paint. You want to kind of just mist it. You don't want to apply too heavy coat. So just be gentle with it. All right, tech watches. So after applying the clear, this is what we got. I did put three layers of that stuff on the clear. Um, first coat, as I told you guys, really lightly. Second coat, a little heavy. Then the third coat, the same thing as the second coat. You know, apply it the same way. Um, you just don't want to apply the first coat too heavy, you know. You want to let the first coat kind of sit on there, get tacky, and then you want to apply your heavier coat. But, yeah, this is what you get. And like I said, you don't have to use the 2K clear. That's what I use because I like using that stuff. It's on preference. You can use the stuff they sell at Home Depot or even a uh, auto parts store. Let me give you guys a better view of this one. It's on the sun. So you can see it. The gloss to it is pretty, pretty bright. Not too bad. And for those of you wondering, I am running a 24 by 10 wheel. Uh, tires, tire size is a 275, 30, all the way around. So yeah, that's what you get, guys. Pretty bright. And like I said, I know the video is going to be all over the place. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this video, but when I painted those two wheels, uh, I posted a small clip on TikTok, and a lot of people were asking me questions about them. So I decided to just make the video, keep it short and simple for you guys. 
but obviously it's pretty pretty long now and I won't be putting them on my truck just yet I gotta wait I need a good alignment on my truck so uh, you're gonna have to wait a little bit I don't want these tires to get messed up so um, yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down um, drop a comment down below which, let me know what you guys think did I ruin the wheels or they, do they look nice <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. So, uh, catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Robo las miradas siempre al pasar, quemando llantitas por el bulevar. Recuerdo en Nogales lo que nos pasó.